Hello everybody, this is Brickmeister Z, and we're really close to 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much everyone for your support. And what way to make this happen is I'm going to show you guys a whole room tour of my Lego room downstairs. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon when I upload a new video for you guys. So yeah, on my room tour, I'm going to show you guys what I've already built use my Lego sets throughout the years. I'm gonna show you stuff that I built that, that I already reviewed and some that I didn't review. So yeah, let's hope that we can probably get 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel by showing you guys a room tour of my Lego room downstairs. So on with the tour. Starting things off with the tour, we got my TV on this stand. And then right underneath, we got my PS4. If you don't want to see it so well, so there it is. Got my PS4 controllers. And right beside the TV is the LEGO Super Mario Nintendo Entertainment System set. And I already did a review on this. And you already know how this thing works, right? You see inside, there's actually a cartridge the Super Mario Brothers NES game cartridge and the controller allows you to connect it to the system. As for the cartridge, you can actually place it inside the console, place it down. And for the brick built TV, if you actually turn this crank, it allows Lego Mario to go through the level on the brick built TV. So that's pretty insane how I actually got this for Christmas back in 2020. So yeah, if you haven't seen my review on the Lego Super Mario Nintendo Entertainment System set that, are, I, that I already have review for you guys, be sure to click that card on the top right if you missed it or not. Now that we took a look at the TV and the PS4, down there as well as the Lego NES and the TV. And right behind me is my very own pick a brick wall, which is a reference to the Lego, Lego store, if I can focus. Come on, there we go. That you can, yeah. This is my pick a brick wall that I actually did, which is a reference to the Lego store. For my own pick a brick wall, I actually kind of mixed up the colors to represent each piece. So right here we got the plates that represent those 4x8 plates. And then we got some Technic bricks and those 6x6 plates. And those 1x8 tiles. And 1x1 tiles and 1x1 plates. And 2x3 bricks as well as one by two bricks and circular one by one round bricks. And we got two by eight bricks as well as some one by six bricks. More Technic stuff, including some brackets and stuff. Then we got two by four bricks, brick separators, some more one by fours. Then we got two by two plates as well as those modified one, uh, modified bricks in there that has the studs at the front and some studs at the top. We got some tires, two by two bricks. And we got two, oh, sorry. One by two by five bricks, I guess. Then we got some slope pieces and we got two by two bricks with the um, uh, three fourths of it. Kind of looks like it was sort of like a L or something like that. Then we got some more round plates and round bricks and these things, but sort of like a host attachment that I don't know what it's called. Four panels, 
and we got two bike for um, tiles and one by two tiles and two by two tiles and we got a uh, plate or tile one by two with the um, that little stud at the top you see then we got some um, eight uh, six by eight top plates and we got those circular pizza slice pizzas from the Lego Mario NES set that we took a look at, which is one of the, which is um, one of, yeah, these pieces. They actually had the Goomba slice pieces and the um, mushroom pieces to represent Super Mario Brothers. So that's that. Got some wedge pieces. We got some random bricks. And then inside, I don't know if you guys see very well, so I'm gonna turn on the light. If you take a look inside, now that the light is turned on, you can actually see some Duplo bricks that I put inside that box. And yeah, you already know about this bin that actually had like some um, random pieces. And yeah, we already took a look at my custom pick a brick wall on the fireplace and then um, we got some two by three plates and one by four tiles one by four plates one by one bricks um, inside this bin yeah we got one by two one by two plates here's one in red then we got those um, two by four plates. Got some four by four plates and those slope inverted pieces and these ball things or whatever. See that? And then we actually got a four by six plate with that bin inside and one by six plates. We got some base plates. So here's a, um, let me see how many studs there are. Yeah, this one I figured out because I kept counting in my head. So it's basically a eight by 16 plate, I guess. Then we got um, circular, one by four circular tile. Oh, it's at the top. And then we got two by two circular tiles, the round things at the bottom, that's inverted. And we got some more Technic bricks of one of these. And then we got those little wedge pieces, whatever, but I don't know what it's called. Some more wedge pieces. And right here, one by 10 plate. And then we got some more wedge pieces and those little arts pieces. And there's, and right here, there's these little um, things that you could probably um, open and close like you're building those Lego doll houses. Then right here, we got a, a two, by six brick and those tire wheel thing pieces or whatever. See that? Then we got some one by three tiles and a one by eight brick. So that goes in this bin. Those slope things with two by four, something like that. And one of these is actually a one by eight plate. And also, um, yeah, right here. See very well. This is a, uh, I think, just like the other place, I think I'm gonna be counting up here. So that's one, a two by 10 plate. So 
like I said, I kind of mixed up the colors here, so that's one in white. That goes right here. And this is actually a 2 by 12 plate, right? Some wedge pieces, some more wedge pieces, and more. And got those cornered round pieces. It's sort of like if you make all four of these. And if you actually make four of these, it'll combine one whole circle. That's pretty neat. And then right here we got some more pick a brick pins, including those Technic pins, round two by two bricks, antennas, more Technic pins, and we got um those um things I can reach in. So yeah, here's this one by four tile or brick that has one stud at the end of each side. So I'm gonna put that back. So right here, this is one of those really one by two tile pieces. Sorry about the camera taken. And here is the um, one of those antennas. And those more really pieces, but this time it's inverted. Some more Technic pins and those, um, if I go reach in. Sorry about the camera's taking all the time because the camera's not focusing. So we had those circular two by two um, plates in um, green, you know, those UFO saucer plates or whatever. So, I'm going to be putting that back. So then we got some studs in there and some round two by two tiles with the, here's one with the hole at the top. And here's one with the, um, with just no hole. And then it, we actually got those suitcases. So here's this one from the um, Lego Movie 2 wa Lucy's Builder, Bar L Builder Box set. And here's one of Emmett's Builder Box. So let me know in the comments if you want to see a lot of my Lego Movie sets throughout the years that I already built and I need to do a review on. So inside the Emmett's Builder Box suitcase. And as you can see, we got some flowers and Technic pin holes. Uh, axles and we got some stars and um, round stud tiles and stuff like that. Close this thing up. And as for the Lucy's Builder Box suitcase, we actually got some um, this brick. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh, one by ten brick and we actually got those, these things that actually got grabbing things or whatever. And we actually got another one of those four by, sorry, two by two plates in like, like the, see, like an L or something like that. I don't know what it's called. So yeah, there's actually a lot of Lego pieces that I got throughout the years that asked my pick a brick collection I and I can't even tell you about yeah I can't even name them all because I don't even know every single Lego brick but some other Lego youtubers said they actually talked about something about that moving right along towards the self we got the Lego Batman movie scuttler set as well as the Batwing and then, right along, we actually got, um, so, uh, we got a couple of minifigures, including Pajamas Emmett, Larry ba the Barista, Coffee Guy, and then we got Gone Golf and President Business, and Batman, and we got those Duplo figures at the Lego Movie. Here's Emmett and Lucy, and then we got a uh, brick built horse known as Emmett's Peace Offering. And there's nothing else to sew with this. Oh yeah, here we go. Here are those micro figure um, 
if I can focus. Come on. Actually, I don't know, guys, if you could probably see the focus in it or not. So let me just go somewhere else to get more focus in. Okay, that's better. So now that my camera is focused, here is a look at those micro figures. So on the left, we got Emmett, and on the right, we got Rex Dangerfest. So he's from the Lego Movie 2. And those micro figures that I'm talking about are found in the Lego Movie 2 Rex Celsius set. So like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments if you want to see me do a lot more Lego set reviews with the um, Lego Movie sets I got over the years. And I already did a review of the other Lego sets, including the International Space Station and the NES. So yeah, those micro figures are the same ones being used in the International Space Station set. And they're actually pretty small Lego May figures. As you can see, I put them on a, um, I put them on a, um, oh, whoops. I put them on a one by two plate that probably goes on this May figure base plate right here. And that actually allows Emmett and Rex to like um, stay in there. But there's actually, yeah, that's actually a nice display piece to actually put for those two micro figures. So I'm gonna put it back on the shelf. We're back here where we took a look at those mini figures. So here is this um, mosaic art on the, that's a heart and star, which is micro figure still, right? So that belongs um, right here. Then we got some more sorcery builds, including the Everything is Awesome a CD or record player or whatever. And we got a waffle two by two tile and the Emily and Lucy for Abba as a pillow. So yeah, right here we actually got a, um, a exclusive two by four tile that shows 60 years of the Lego group. So that belongs right here. Oh, in case you were wondering, while we show you the micro figures on the itself, right beside, I actually got some books and right here we inside this red lego bin we got some more of these random lego pieces and then right beside it oh there's actually a um duplo base plate that I actually got when i was a baby question mark i think i got but i think that belongs right there and right there we actually got my all of my Lego instructions from the different sets that I got over the um, years. So here's the theme for like Lego Batman, Lego Movie One and Two, Unikitty, Ninjago, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you all the tables around my Lego room, and I hope you meet, and I and I hope you're gonna see something cool. And one last thing I want to point out is that this is the cool table, which you can actually put the balls into those holes with those little pool cues with the um, sock right there so that you can probably screw it on. So yeah, what's cool about my Lego room is that right over here, this is the my Lego Super Mario table that has all of my expansion sets. We got the power packs, Lego Mario in the pipe, and he only comes in the Star Horse set, which is 60 bucks. So, a lot of people said that I should probably do like a comparison between the Lego NES and the real NES. So, wait until if there's a comment or whatever in this video or the NES video, I guess. So, here's the pipe that starts your levels, and here is the flag that ends your levels, which is a little bit different. So here's the one from like the Guard Fortress set. And I switch it up to the, um, if I can, to the regular flag ball from the Star Horse set. And we got all of my other expansion sets, including this castle launch thing that you can knock down Bowser Jr. 
Whoa, that cell just broke. <laughs> so I'm gonna fix that. Now the cell is all fixed up. I'll just put him back where he belongs. And we got some more expansion sets, including Bowser's Castle Boss Battle, Toad's Treasure Hunt, Mario's House and Yoshi, and stuff like that. So now that we took a look at the Lego Mario table, right behind me is my exercise equipment. So here is the elliptical of how you can actually, um, of how you can actually get on there and you know how you can actually um, move your feet in order to get some exercise. And so I think my Lego room is pretty cool thanks to you guys and hopefully we'll probably be able to reach 100 subscribers so here's more fitness equipment here's the more side of it and right behind my exercise equipment well there are some more lego tables including the octan tower from the first lego movie along with the lego movie 2 maker set of how you probably make your own movies with your iPhone stand right here. And right behind here is the Duplo version of the Octane Tower. So what's cool is that you can actually take this red brick off like in the first Lego movie and just fly around Bricksburg in order to attack a lot of other people with those micro managers. So yeah, if I could probably put this back on So we got some Octane Tower stuff, the Super Secret Police Drop Step, and the Batcave for Batman, the Apocalypse for Door from the second Lego movie, huh, inside, Star getting stuck in the door, which is, yeah. Star Stuck Emmett is a rear poly bag that comes with the um, Lego Movie 2 video game which came out a few years ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, Knocked Over Sweet Mayhem or General Mayhem. He's actually, she's actually a mini doll, not a minifigure from the Lego movie too. Yeah, see that right here. And then moving right along to the construction site. You see that there's the piece of resistance. I kind of blocked this off with this little construction fence pieces because allows Emmett to fall right there into the piece of resistance. And then we got, not this low mech, but the big mech, the Constructo mech. And this project, uh, this Lego movie set always didn't stand up. So if I could probably show it to you what it looks like. So yeah, here's the Constructo mech. Like I say, it doesn't stand up like how I did that back in the day when I first got this set. But you can actually see Emmett inside and there's construction site wheels. And then we got some random colored Lego pieces, which is probably for like me, my Lego Mario expansion sets. Then we got some more construction sites like that little uh, bulldozer or whatever. I don't know what it's called. That's more construction stuff when any spaceship and some more construction vehicles and this poor body is on the back. This allows Emma to sit on the toilet. So this design came in the um, Emmett's builder box set. So I'm gonna place Emmett right here and he's going to the bathroom or restroom in the, in the construction site. And then right over here, here is Emmett's dream house. And this is actually a two in one set that you could probably transform the dream house into the rescue rockets. So that's for another video. Here's Arkham Asylum from the Lego Batman movie. Here's the front of it with the police car. Uh, right next to it, here's the Temple of the, Alt Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon from Ninjago. And inside this play feature allows you can actually um, Rotate this. Um, I don't know what that TNT box is for, but I think it 
probably goes there. Question mark, but I think I'm be able to find a good place for it. Oh, and sorry about that. <laughs> the TNT box actually goes right here. So we got a sack piece and a vase piece. And this, you can actually lift it up and that drops down that little chain type thing. So here's the play feature once again. Bam. So lift it back up. Here's some more, in, here's some inside the Arkham Asylum. We got the Belting Chamber from the first Lego movie. Let's see, there's Emmett right there, how you can rotate him. And then we, there's actually some more being called including the, um, the um, Batmobile and the, um, the Escape Buggy from the Lego movie too. How you can play the Alter Caddy on there like you did in the movie. So we got some more vehicles. We got Garmadon's Volcano. And we also got the um, Lego store right there. And some more vehicles. Here's Queen Whatever's Space Palace and another Batmobile. Cloud Cuckoo Palace. And check these things out. Two blue invaders. <laughs> yeah, so here's the side of it, and you can actually see Emmett and his friends very scared about the Duplos attacking Bricksburg. So, right behind here is Apocalypseburg, especially the fallen Statue of Liberty. So you can see Emmett walking by and Lucy at the top. And here is Ninjago. Cine and the Ninjago Sea Docks. And here is Hogwarts Castle from Lego Harry Potter. And here is the micro steel version of the Wampy Wheel of how you can spin it. And that micro figure car actually fell out three. And this is exclusive to this set along with those little boat things. So right beside that we got the quits mask of how you can probably move your Harry Potter minifigures during the quiz match. And then for the Joker Manor, you can, there's actually a little coaster that you can go up and just goes up. Huh. Sorry about the blocking of Hogwarts Castle. Just goes around and um, comes back right there in order to like, um, to the um, station or whatever. We actually got the ha ha time means the Joker is laughing. So I kind of moved that out of the way because it's against the wall. So here we go. That's more like it. So one more time with that, like that. So I'm gonna be putting this back where it belongs. And let's continue on with this tour. From the Lego tables, we got the um, Lego selves, including some, um, Flying vehicles like the Wild Mayhem Starfire from the Lego Movie 2 and some other um, Lego flying vehicles like the Garbage Cruncher or Trash Compactor, whatever you call it. And some some more mech vehicles. And here's this theme of the Wild West. And here's my baseball bang gloves. Then we got some more of the self clean in the K Fairground Fun, the Jago stuff, um, Master Falls, and the In the K Dr. Fox Laboratory, and the Simmer Science Sparkle Spa. Plus that little ramp right there, which Lucy is actually riding a motorcycle. And then right up above, we got some lot, a lot of mechs to represent the Jago right there. So we got the Fire Mech, War Skier, Garmadon Mecha Man, Clayman mech. And then we got some space stuff down below on the next self, including the Rexelsior and Queen whatever as a rocket. And then we got some space junk right there and some more space friends. And right here, this is the main subversion of Emmett's rescue rocket that came in the Rexelsior set. And for Benny's spaceship, kind of looks like a um, space shuttle, I guess. Oh, this actually kind of launched right there. And 
Yeah, right beside, there's actually the sister starship from the second Lego movie that actually shoots stickers out. Moving right along, there's actually a party theme going on, including the Papa Party Bus and the Justice League Anniversary Party. Here's that fourth scene with the Rex, Rex Floor, which is different from the Rex Celestior. And you want to see what it looks like. Yeah, if you take this off, there's actually some migrant figures inside that we took a look at before. So put this back on. We're going to take a look at that jungle. And then above, we got some more Lego mechs, including Amethyst Triple Decker Couch Mech, which is also a two in one set. And we got some more mechs, including the Ice Take and the Nixago Green Dragon. On your left of the shelves, you can actually see that Lego Movie 2, the 2 poster of Queen Will Never Will Not Be changing into different characters in one. Like we got a high air balloon, a flower, a popsicle, cow power, cow pillar, some ring chair, and stuff like that. So moving right along, we actually got the belief poster with the cat on there, kind of looks like Meowthra from the Lego Nixago movie. And right all along, we got my Duplo bin. But this is actually like a Quadro. I remember having that when I was a baby. And then inside, you can actually see some plastic big Duplo bricks that I have when I was a baby. So, oh, sorry, knock that over. So, yeah, this heart piece that I'm talking about actually kind of sits right here. And this is actually a remake of the when cake ceremony that I made from the Lego movie too. So that actually belongs. Um, you put this, put this lid up top and this goes up there. That's what it looks like for the remake of the when ceremony. And then right along, we got Destiny's Bounty from the Lego Ninjaga movie. And then Right behind it is Melbeard Sea Cow, which is on the wagon, so you can probably rotate it as it's going on imaginary water. So we got the double decker couch down there, and the Queen Whatever Whale, even though it kind of looks sad. Then we got the submarine boats for Batman, and that main figure's version of the Millennium, Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. If they're looking for a hyperdrive. And then we got my Lego Movie logo, which I actually made that a few years ago. So here's a couple of those bricks that I did. Yeah, hopefully I'll probably be, yeah, hopefully I'll probably do a review of all these Lego sets that I got over the years. I do hope I want to do a review of these, but I think I need to be able to catch up in order to get 100 subscribers. Oh, and I almost forgot. Going back to the Lego Movie 2 Queen Whatever Would Not Be poster, if you look down, you can see some yoga mats on top of my toy box. And as you can see, there are a, a lot of different toys inside, like stuffed animals and stuff like that. And then, if you look towards the right, you can see that there's actually um, all these Lego sets I haven't reviewed yet, but don't worry, I'll probably re re review them soon. If you look up where the Sea Cow and Destiny's Bounty was, there's actually a decorative hot air balloon USA thing hanging from the ceiling. So I think I got this from Mini Golf back in like 2011. Something along those lines. Now that we took a look at everything with those Lego tables. And finally, if you actually take a look at back there, and if here is the storage room. We actually got my Harn Star Forever poster, as well as my Pittsburgh Penguin Stanley Cup Champions banner, and some board games. And we got mousetrap right there and some other stuff right beside it we already took a look at the um 
instruction booklets right there. So yeah, here's my fire truck and my cardboard ski ball machine, which is actually from Chuck E. Cheese's. So yeah, there's actually a Lego idea ski ball machine. You could go support it. Link in the description if you want to support and help me reach 10,000 supporters. So we got some balls right there. And then back here, I'm gonna turn on the light. We got some Lego boxes. So here's one for the um, Lego Super Mario and the yes set that we did a review about it. And then here's the box for the Lego Ideas International Space Station set. Here's one for Lego Mindstorms. And then here's one, which is Arkham Asylum from the Lego Batman movie, as well as the Lego movie Seek House sets. This is an open box I got for Christmas back in 2015. Then we got the, sorry, <laughs> we got some pieces for Mousetrap. And then we got a box for like Ninjago City Docks. And then we got um, Apocalypse Burke from Lego Movie 2, the second part. And you know, that's funny. If you compare the um, other two logos of the Lego movie, you see that Lego movie 2 is split on the um, right a little bit and for, for the original Lego movie is split on the uh, left. So yeah, we got some, we got my little toy shopping cart and my rocking horse in the back for storage. Even though I used to have these when I was a little kid. We got my whiteboard that says for Legoland, Mainland USA, Awesome and Waste, which is a promo for like Legoland Parks and Discovery Centers. And then right inside, you can actually see my um, old toys that I'm gonna be donating to one spot out, but hopefully I'll probably get some more Lego sets on the way. So here is my old Bicycle and helmet and some car supplies like confetti. And then inside, you can actually see we got some Lego pieces and this Lego Unikitty, Unikingdom brick build box or whatever you call it is in there. And then we got some more sports supplies. We got some golf balls. And that's just some folder stuff right there. Yeah. In case you're wondering, this is those um, pieces I'm talking about, which is probably for like the um, Lego Creator Expert Carousel set that I got for my mom's birthday last year. The one thing I noticed is that this is a ripoff version of the Lego Carousel, even though I'm not gonna be able to say it. This is a rip-off version of the Lego carousel because I actually destroyed because the pieces were super loose and stuff like that and I don't really like it. But hopefully, I'll probably get a new Lego carousel set if I'll be able to save up my money or maybe my parents will let me get it sometime. But yeah, hopefully I'll probably be able to get it. So that's a look inside the storage room. So before we wrap up with my tour, there's actually a few things along the way that I missed. Not only that we already took a look at those Lego suitcases and those pick brick bins and that Duplo box, along with the Scuttler and the Batwing from Lego Batman that's seen on this shelf, but there's actually a dartboard on my wall and I got this toy from Castle Toys and Games when I went down to Pittsburgh. So there's actually those little magnetic arrow things and you can actually suit them oh sorry attempt number two so if you can actually suit them like that even though the camera's not focusing you can actually aim for that bullseye in the center to gain extra points 
So yeah, pretty cool looking toy. Like I said, I got this from Castle Toys and Games in Pittsburgh. I really love it so much. And then some other things I'm gonna show you is that we already took a look at my pick a brick bins on the fireplace. And as you can see, when you look up, I actually got that um, USA flag and that Canadian flag when I went up to Niagara Falls in summer 2019. I put this, I put these right behind this, this speaker to represent two of those different countries. The United States where I lived in was my primary country and Canada was my secondary country. So that's pretty cool how I actually include these things. Kind of like how you actually see in hockey arenas. Anyway, that's about it for my room tour downstairs for all of my Lego tables. And hopefully we'll probably be able to reach 100 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I do. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below if you really like my um, Lego room tour. And are you excited to take a look at my other Lego set reviews, including those Lego movie and Batman and Ninjago sets I haven't reviewed yet. But that's it for now. Like I said, hope you enjoyed the tour. My name is Brick Pines from Z signing off, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.